Welcome back everyone to another series of Mike on the Move. I am Mike and you're watching my Peru series. So I've been given an eight hour layover in Lima. And for those of you who have been given such an experience like this to have an eight hour or more time in Lima, you might be thinking to yourself, what could you do in eight hours? What is safe and what ensures that you get back to your flight in time to start wherever you came from? This video will highlight the top four things you should know before you do your next layover in Lima. Now, to quickly highlight my adventures throughout my eight hour layover in Lima, I wanna quickly share that I was able to check out the city, the coast, did some great eating, great pisco drinking, and did some shopping. A lot has happened. I wanna give you all my top recommendations you should consider when doing your trip throughout Lima. But before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to Mike on the Move so I can keep you posted on my latest videos and adventures. And of course, and always, make sure you share your top questions, comments, and or recommendations so not only you can maximize on your next trips, but others can too. Let's get this video started. Excited for our layover in Lima, we quickly caught a cab at the airport. Things to know, number one, take the green taxi. Do not get a cab outside the airport. It's dangerous. Rather, get a cab from the green taxi company. For our trip, we spent about 60 souls to get from the airport to La Plaza Mayor or La Plaza de Armas, about a 30 minute drive. It's like a roundabout. Mm -hmm. Another major plaza to check out on your way to La Plaza Mayor is a plaza called Dos de Mayo. It lies in the heart of the city in the historic central district. The square was actually laid out in remembrance of a battle that took place on May 2nd, hence the name Dos de Mayo. It is distinguished with these sort of identical blue buildings that have this European architectural look to the buildings. So if you have time, check out this square. I think so. We're now in Lima. We left Cusco and now we're in Lima. We arrived um, here, it's about 12 o'clock from the airport. Um, it's about a 30 minute drive from the airport to the di historic district center. And we're now making our way to Plaza de Armas or what they call here, La Plaza Mayor. Let's check this place out. Okay. Look up there, let me we're gonna go there. Look the street. Let's see the street. Let's see the walk in. All right, everyone. So I am now in Lima, checking out La Plaza de Armas or La Plaza Mayor. Behind me, you see the Basilica Cathedral, um, which everyone wants to check out when you're here. Also, surrounding the plaza, the, the plaza you'll see the government house or La Plaza de Gobierno, and also some other official government buildings. through the streets of Lima, Central Historic District. You can find bars, restaurants, you can go shopping, lots of hotels. It's quite charming as well. They have churros. Churros. I want the one chocolate. That's the one with caramel. Should we try one? And then we try another one. How much is it? Should we get one? What do you want to do churros? Three.
Hey Dennis, how are you? Look at this. Cusco. All right, so we're now walking in Lima on the Avenida de Cusco, and it looks like a fun party place to be on a Saturday night. There's music. There's people walking all around. They actually closed the street down for us to all walk around here. But um, so far, so good. If you love churros, check out Churros San Francisco. The long line of locals will confirm how good this place is. So we are now walking through Lima's historic shopping district where you can buy whatever you're looking for in terms of souvenirs, food, drinks, you name it, you can find it here. Ceviche, pescado, 20 soles. 20 soles, bien servido. Small, big, and a plato. Okay, okay. Ceviche y... ¿Y qué, qué viene con la fichiche? ¿Puro nomás ceviche? No, le viene con su camote, ah. viene con su rocoto, viene con su cota, viene con su... ¿Cómo se llama? Este, lechuguita. Lechuga. Uh -huh. So what's the best thing to do in Lima? Of course, the taste of Pisco Sour. We have a tip from a friend, my friend Milagro, so check out a place called Mari Hotel. Behind me is Mari Hotel. There's no name, but it's the hotel. Let's check this out. When in Lima, you got to have Pisco Sour. And if you're looking for Pisco Sour, check out Mari Hotel. Legend has it that Pisco Sour was invented here. This is a hidden gem just a block away from the plaza. Make sure you check out Hotel Maori. Yeah. Gracias. All right, so we've been at the square here for about three hours, and now we're heading our way over to Miraflores. Miraflores is another very popular tourist destination. And to do that, we either can purchase a taxi or do a bus. So we decided to do a tour bus to Miraflores. We got two tickets for the top part of the bus, which costs about 20 soles each. And so we are gonna make our way over to Miraflores in a second. Okay, gracias señora. Okay. Dos. Okay. So we're on our way to Vida Flores. What a great way to take in the city of Lima via a bus tour. This bus tour specifically stopped in multiple places, ending in Miraflores before making its way back to downtown. Now, Miraflores is considered one of the main tourist attractions in Lima. Why? It's an exclusive residential and upscale shopping district just south of downtown Lima. It's also one of the most affluent districts that make up the city, with various hotels, restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and tons and tons of shopping. Also, it has a beautiful boardwalk, or a malicón, which hugs the coast for almost 10 kilometers or six miles. 
very popular. Make sure you make the time to check out Miraflores. Plaza de Armas to our way to Miraflores and we arrive. Check out the ocean. So we went from Miraflores, the boardwalk, now to La Cormad, which is the shopping center here in Miraflores. There's a lot of shopping here, a lot of entertainment, and a lot of restaurants and bars. Let's check this place out. The best way to end your trip is over a beautiful plate of ceviche with pisco sour overseeing the coastline. Things to know number four includes getting back to the airport. I highly recommend you take the Airport Express. You can book online. It's really cheap, about $8 a person. Includes free Wi-Fi, unlimited luggage, even USB ports. Book online and you can actually take the so, bus directly from Miraflores to the airport. So it's about an hour bus ride. The bus this concludes the four things you should know before conducting a Lima layover. Please make sure to subscribe to Mike and the Move to stay up to date on my latest videos and adventures. See you all very soon.